This is a new tutorial series I'm going to do. Again, I'm going to be working with the Make Human model. And this time I'm going to use a flesh model and one that's posed. Um, my model was exported for Make Human as a wavefront object in order for it to retain its pose. And what I've done to the model in Make Human is simply dropped her arms and given a slight bend to the arm so that I can locate the elbow more easily for uh, rigging purposes. It's much easier to have a bend in the arm to be able to rig it properly. And this model already has all of its materials attached to it. I'm going to refer you now to an online tutorial to help you to get the, all the different UV and texture mappings onto the model. So I'm going to open up my web browser and do a quick web search. I'll use a Google search. And the keywords make human to Blender part 1. And using the keywords make human to Blender part 1, we should find our uh, first result should be Blender Underground view topic. Make Human to Blender Part 1. And this tutorial is hosted on Blender Underground. It is a three-part tutorial. And the author of the tutorial is Penix1. And in the first part of the tutorial, it largely deals with Make Human. Um, a little bit on the program and how to export as either a Collada file or a wavefront object. The second part of the tutorial deals largely with materials and texture mappings and such and will outline how to get the materials onto the model. And then the third part has a little bit of rigging stuff, um, some IK and some weight painting suggestions. And I tried to follow the IK and in the end I had to modify it because it didn't seem to work with my version of Blender. And that's something to to look at in the process of following tutorials is which version of Blender you're using and which version of Blender is the tutorial written in. I believe this tutorial was written in 2.43 or but I may be mistaken on that. And I found that the IK didn't work all that great for me. And I also found that the weight painting part didn't work that great for me. This is a really good tutorial for Make Human and, and Blender and getting the model into Blender and getting its materials attached. <coughs> In that tutorial, it's going to show you how to separate the body parts according to their materials and for the sake of the rest of this tutorial um, when joining those materials back together we don't want to join them all together and in this tutorial I'm going to keep the eyes teeth and tongue separate and the head body eyebrows and eyelashes I've joined into one object into one mesh and I'll be handling the eyes teeth and tongue separately and I've also placed them in another layer just to get them out of the way for now so I'm just going to glance at my time quickly here Mostly this particular video is going to be just talking and I've done some pre-preparation to my model. It already has its materials attached for one. And after attaching the materials, um, joining the body, head, eyebrows and eyelashes together and removing doubles, which is an essential part of joining these together and you don't want to forget that because otherwise the head will be in a way disembodied and separate from the from the body. Um, 
In order to place clothing onto my model, I've downstated certain details. One in particular is the nipples, and I've erased the nipples off of the model, and then selected a ring around the area I erased, extruded it, and used Alt-M to merge the extrusion at the center. Um, that simply just filled in the space that I had deleted, and then I pulled the area out to round it off a little bit better, and this downplayed and downstated the detail of the nipples, because I don't want it, the model so overly detailed it won't look quite realistic with the clothing. I did a similar process on the belly button, where I erased the belly button and replaced it with a less detailed version that would look more proper in clothing and isn't so sunken into the model. And then I also did the same thing in her midsection, which was overly detailed, and I erased that area and rebuilt it with a little less detail. And these erasures of these details are going to affect the UV mapping, but since I'm going to be putting clothes onto these areas, it's not going to matter too much. And I'm not going to demonstrate that on video because it's all pretty basic modeling, and I figure that if you're interested in this tutorial, then, then the basics of modeling this together and doing those small repairs should be something that you should be able to do or you might find that that the rest of this tutorial is going to lose you. So I'm going to try to stay away from such basic modeling. I'm going to put some clothes on to my model in the next video. Then after that we'll do a little bit of particle stuff and get a hair on to her as well. And then we'll jump right into rigging her and I've got some some new rigging that I've uh, found and figured out for the legs, which hopefully is going to play along better with the idea of eventually getting a model to walk along a curved course rather than um, rather than uh, such manual types of of animating and hopefully I can get that part figured out before the end of the tutorial because I've gotten the rigging together but I haven't done much experimenting on getting it onto a curved course course and I'm still having problems trying to find uh, the details on exactly how to do that in the newer versions of Blender. Now my version of Blender is 248.1 and and some of the ideas that I'm going to be doing in it with the rigging may not work in earlier versions of Blender. The tutorial that I found my new foot set up on, when I followed it, um, I had to experiment and adjust some things to be able to get it to function on, on my rig. So I'm attributing these these differences and anomalies between between what I find in a tutorial and what I get when I attempt to follow that tutorial as being differences in Blender versions. So that's something to note. Again, I'm using 248.1, which is, um, as I understand, the most updated version of Blender presently. So in older versions, I, I really can't say what's going to happen trying to follow the tutorial as far as rigging goes. So I'm out of time, and I'll see you in the next video. We'll throw some clothes onto this model. And until then, happy modeling.